welcome back to another video guys in this one we'll be unboxing the new samsung galaxy a54 5g that we got here this one we got in awesome graphite as you can see basically nothing to the box anymore as you know you don't get no charger or headphones one of the things just a usb cable and just a phone so let's open it up and see As you can see here, this is the 8 gig, 128 gig storage. Okay, this is the box. Side. Your usual pockets and stuff in here. Open it the wrong way. Your SIM injection tool, as you can see here. What we got here is your USB C cable, quick start guide, and the usual paperwork. Alright, this is the phone here. Right, this is the A54 here in the awesome graphite. You see it's got a glass back. Let's just do a quick comparison with the previous model. We've got the A53 here. This is the A53, this is the A54. And also we've got the A52S. This one here is your A52S. You got your A53. And we have the new A54. Obviously, you can see the back's different. It's glass compared to the plastic back. This looks more like the S23. Alright, I will do a comparison video between the three, or maybe between the two, between the A53 and the A54 and the A52S to the A54. Don't we do that for another video. We'll put these aside. As you can tell straight away, definitely a fingerprint magnet. Haven't had it out for more than say two minutes and there's fingerprints everywhere. All right, let's start it up. While waiting for that to load up, let's go through a few specs. It's a super AMOLED screen. It's 120 Hertz, a thousand nit brightness. That's more than the previous model. It's a 6.4 1080p screen. It's got Corning Gorilla Glass 5, where it's running Android 13 with One UI 5.1. The chipset in this is the Exynos 1380. It's got a micro SD card slot, which you could use with a micro SD and a SIM or two SIMs. So a triple camera setup. It's got a 50 megapixel wide, 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a five megapixel macro sensor. It's got rid of the depth sensor that we had in the previous model, the A53. For video, you can record at 4K 30, 1080p 30 or 60 frames, and 720 at 480 frames. The front facing camera is a 32 megapixel, which can record at 4K 30 and 1080p 30. It's got stereo speakers and no headphone jack. The previous model didn't have a headphone jack, but the A52S did have one. It's got optical fingerprint sensor. The battery is 5,000 milliamps. It can charge with a 25 watts wired. Uh, it doesn't have wireless charging. As you can see, it really doesn't sit flat because of the camera bump. All right, so it's set up using another device. Let's copy settings. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see what happens when we use the S23 Ultra. Let's 
Let's see how fast this sets up. So it looks like it's transferred all my stuff from here, settings, into this one. Straight away, it's done the Wi Fi settings. Didn't have to put the pin in or anything. So it's getting ready. That was pretty good. We'll do the fingerprints. Just show you how it's done quickly. Do a pin. Let's confirm pin without tapping. Okay. So if you tick that, basically when you put your pin in, it will unlock without you having to press OK. I prefer it that way then instead of putting your pin in and then pressing OK. Right, let's set up the fingerprint. What I think already that I found out is that the fingerprint sensor seems a bit lower than the A53 and the A52S, but I'll double check that in a minute. Right, I'll always add two fingerprints, one on each hand. So we'll do the other hand. Skip that for now. And the first thing I always do is change my navigation buttons at the bottom here. Some people may like it that way, you can change it around or you can use the swipe gestures. So I always change mine. We go to settings, go to display. In display here, you've got your light and dark mode. Brightness, adaptive brightness, but we go to navigation bar. So you can have your button order, you can change it if you want the buttons. I do swipe gestures. And when I'm in here, I don't use this one, I go to more options, and then I use the swipe from bottom. And that's how I use my one. So as you can see at the bottom, you swipe, and that's my buttons here. We've got motion smoothness. So on this one, the difference between the A54 and the A53, the high refresh rate is adaptive, as on the A53 and A52S, it wasn't, I'll just show you. This is the A53, that's the A52S. So we've got the display, got the display in both of them. You've got your motion smoothness. It just says high and high in this one. But on the new A54, it's actually adaptive, as you can see, which is pretty good. So that's the difference between the A53 and the A54. So if you see that the A54 is slightly smaller compared to the A53 and the A52S, I'll be making video comparisons between the A52S and the A54 and also the A53 that we got here. Going around the phone, you can see on this side there's nothing here at all. It's smooth, smooth finish. Underneath, you got your Charging port, USB-C, mic, speaker, 
or on the side, you put your power button, put your volume up and down, put your camera lenses here. Going back to the volume up and down, I do prefer it this way with the volume up and down at the top and the power at the bottom compared to the Pixel 6a that I have, which has the volume at the bottom and the power button at the top. Yeah, I still get confused when using the Pixel 6a for the power and the volume buttons, because you can see the volumes at the bottom. I'm used to be having the power button at the bottom here and the volume at the top. I'll also be doing a video comparison between these two also. Carrying on, go to the top, you got your SIM tray here. So you use your SIM injection tool, pop that out. And you can see it says SIM 1 and SIM 2 or a micro SD. So this phone still has a micro SD card, but just no headphone jack, as you can see. You have a glass back on the A54 compared to the plastic, or what Samsung calls plastic, on the A53 and the A52S. Right, this is just a quick unboxing. I'll do a review in it shortly, see how the cameras are, how long the battery lasts. I'll compare it to the other phones that I have, like the A53 that we got here, A52S, as you can see here, which is slightly bigger, but looks like it has smaller bezels, slightly, and also the Pixel 6a that we got here. Right guys, this does seem very similar to the S23, as you can see, it does feel a bit more premium than the A52S and the A53 that we got here. Because of the glass back, it feels slightly heavier, like I said, it does look like a S23, except for the vessels as you can see, but I will put a case on it, so glass back and the smudges won't really be bothering me, I always put cases on my phones. So that's what we'll do with this one. All right guys, if you've got any questions, leave them down in the comments. If you've got anything that you want me to do with this, compare it to certain phones, let me know, see if I can do it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.